to those Planet of the Apes fans out there, or just movie fans who've seen Planet of the Apes, if you think that chimpanzees, gorillas, and orangutans are monkeys, then... <coughs> We've been through hell together. We spent four years, four years, fighting that virus and then another four fighting each other. It was chaos. Monkeys have tails, apes don't. I worked at a zoo for six years, so I should know this. Anyways, back to the trailer. But you, you all know what we're up against. I need to speak to Caesar. Animals have dealt with the wrath of mankind for long enough now. And though they got their revenge in the previous movie, the events of Rise of the Planet of the Apes seemed only like baby steps compared to the devastation in this 90 second teaser trailer. This sequel looks very gloomy and depressing and because of that it looks as if it takes place decades and decades after the previous installment. Even though according to IMDB it takes place only a decade later and Gary Oldman is talking about the virus and how it left the world to ruin and it's just completely chaotic looking. I don't mind dark and depressing movies but for some reason, this looks over the top depressing, thanks to the music and the cinematography, the two aspects that mainly made it look that way. And sure enough, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes is by the director of Cloverfield, which is a complete downer. Plus, we're missing two of the main cast members. I mean, we got Caesar, but we're missing James Franco and Frida Pinto, who were like the two only main characters that didn't die in Rise of the Planet of the Apes. I think the reason why the darkness in this trailer stood out to me so much is because I was rooting for the apes, but I did not expect them to go this far with their power. But hey, it's called Planet of the Apes for a reason. Even so, I must say the ending to this trailer was pretty epic. <laughs> And I want you to know, it's not just about power, it's about giving us the hope to rebuild and reclaim the world we lost. I'm still looking forward to the movie in July, but... I think I just need to see more in the next trailer, hopefully, to understand why this trailer was so apocalyptic and so cold. So, yeah. What did you think of the Dawn of the Planet of the Apes teaser trailer? Let me know in the comments section below.